Okay, quick video uh, to explain how we could luckily help you uh, with a spam problem and how our email uh, hosting service uh, differs uh, substantially, I'd say, in my uh, 25 plus years experience um, compared to other big companies that we've tried out. So, uh, in essence, uh, we apply spam scores and automatically divert email to spam folders for you. You can see there's 1,000, that's a monthly figure. This email account here, uh, my account, s.walters, stevewalters, smehelp.com, that's been around for uh, 10 plus years, 12 years or so, uh, since roughly 2008, 2009. So um, just to let you know, that's caught 1,000 spam in the last month alone, um, our efforts. I'm going to explain to you just quickly how we do um, learn with the spam and how this would help you if you were considering uh, somebody uh, for a reliable uh, email account uh, hosting. And here's our preventions that we undertake on a, on a weekly or every two week basis. Um, in essence, any spam that we learn of, we apply into our Plask folder. So I'm going to give you a quick example here, a very quick example. Uh, any problem domains that we come across on this old account, as well as clients' accounts, the clients' old accounts, we add the domains. So if you go and have a look here, uh, clearly spam comes from this domain here. Alk to zoom.org there's another example here which we're about to add road to reviews.com and perhaps one or two other examples if i scroll down i've just found um capsfizz.click and many many others okay so this is how we deal with it uh that one as an example as an email a problem email that we get spam from we've decided to add a rule anything at that domain but not just at that domain, but anything like uh, which is a sub of that domain. So say, for example, they tried to send us spam, they changed this bit, and then they insert another subdomain before there, like at marketing.simcal.net, for example. That would cache the whole lot and block it at a server level, which would never even enter your inbox, uh, let alone go to a spam folder in your inbox. Okay, So uh, all these domains we're adding right now. This is just from the last week alone that we've learnt. Um, let's get rid of that because I've used the example to show you. Um, we'll uh, okay that. And then there's one other preventative measure at a server level that we install that other big companies don't. Um, let's click on apply changes here. Okay, so uh, you can see we've added them there, all right? Uh, we've got many other lists going on as well. But at the settings level anyway, despite specifics in a list, a blacklist, We've brought the spam score down to uh, the threshold down to 1.5. We're going to reduce that actually to 1.25 this week. Um, any server technician will tell you that you should have your spam score above 4 as an advice practice. That means if an email comes in, um, it's got a score higher than 4 in terms of likely uh, spam looking um, traits in the email. That 4, we started off at 6 uh, a few months ago. And we've brought it down to 1.25 and we still get all of the emails that we're expecting to get. Um, and bit by bit, incrementally, we bring this spam score down to stop the spam at a server level. When it gets marked as that, just your, for your confidence really, um, it also puts a spam score in the subject line. So I'll give you an example there. You can see uh, in the spam folder here, um, it's automatically been redirected to a spam folder for you. Um, that's the stuff that didn't get caught by the way this 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 is going to get caught now the, the things that I've just uh, shown you okay so they're not even going to appear here anymore but just uh, as an example I've kept these here for the last um, month I think this is this is the if I jump to the last page that's 1046 what's the date there I'm um, going back to 12th of May if I jump back to the front present day that's the 22nd so a month and a half worth thousand spam uh, being filtered here now, to explain, you can, you can see that it gives you a spam score in the subject line, so you can decide what to do with it. This is a little quick warning, spam score 3.7, okay, and these are 2.4, 2.5, 5.3, 2.4, 6.2. So you can see over the last month the different emails that we've had in, what kind of spam scores they are. Um, they will get caught. Um, if you want to, we can permanently delete them. It'll be down to you to just let us know, else it will just go into spam folder for you and you can decide what to do with it. The reason we take this practice is because if there's anything legit that you're expecting to come in, it'll come in here with a spam score marked on it. 
So let's say uh, some customer of yours emails you and you say I've not received the email and they say I've not received the bounce back though. Can you check your spam folder please? You check your spam folder and it will be here with a spam score if they've sent you an email to the correct address and if it didn't arrive in your inbox and got filtered here for some reason. That's the only two places it would be if you're hosting an email with us. Um, and you can see where they are. You can mark them as safe and you can tell us if there's a problem that's reoccurring. Okay, if you've not got them in your address book, um, it might end up here. So you can see we're down to 1.25 here as a spam score. We'll set that, we'll say okay to that. And we do this on a weekly to two weekly basis. This helps reduce all the spam in your inbox. And this is something that we'll find many, many companies don't do. I would has to guess of 95% of other companies do not do if not 99% of okay uh, let's know what you think in the comments below thank you